On a walk in northeastern Connecticut, where footprints are sketched into the cold ground, you can find Tina McKenna and her best friend, Lana. Newfoundland dogs are really known for their very gentle demeanor. Uh, they're oftentimes called the nanny of dogs because they're just so gentle and caring with their family and basically with everyone. For the six-legged companions, Lana's caring and loving spirit does not only leave paw prints on her family, but also those who attend the Relay for Life event every year. They're really a good personality for healing types of activities. And they're allowed on the Relay for Life track because of their demeanor and because they can just walk around and really bring joy to everyone there and just also help with folks, some of the cancer uh, survivors and folks that have cancer that are there. They can just bring them some comfort. So it's a really special treat to have them be allowed. The only other dogs that are allowed are actual service dogs that are accompanying people. People in town, when they saw that I had one, suggested that we join. But also my family has been hit very hard by cancer. We've lost some, you know, really close loved ones and many close friends. So it was meaningful for me beyond just something nice to do with my dog. Tina, who's an annual Relay for Life member, takes pride in doing this event because she knows that she's paying it forward. The funds are used for cancer research as well as for helping to fund for new therapies for cancer patients, advocacy, and um, services for cancer patients like helping them to get rides for treatments or paying for lodging when they have to travel far for treatments, different things like that. So as these two best friends prepare for their next journey on June 4th, some of the aspects of the Relay for Life event they keep in the back of their mind as they go lap by lap. When the relay starts at 10 a.m., the first lap is to honor survivors. So survivors are on the track walking. My team has two already, close to my heart, so I'm very happy about that. And everyone will be on the sidelines with pom-poms and noisemakers cheering them on. And there's a survivor lunch as well. Um, and then there's a lap called Why We Relay, where people carry pictures of their loved ones. Um, there's also a fun lap this year. It's to raise awareness for colon cancer. So people uh, dress up this, like they're calling it smarty pants. So whatever kind of funny things you might want to do for that lap. And also really special event is what's called the Luminaria Ceremony where people donate uh, $10, you, you get a luminaria, which is basically a little white bag with a candle in it, with a little sand to hold it down, and you dedicate it to a person, and that's written on the bag. And then at dusk, the bags get lit up and line the track, and then we have a silent lap where it is um, led by a bagpiper. We all walk silently. And the lights stay illuminated all night long for the overnight laps. And when we're done with that lap, we all get together at the grandstand and they read out all of the names of all of those folks. It's very moving, uh, really special, I must say. So if you're interested in donating a luminaria to a loved one or donating to the event, just click on my link right here.